everyone, and welcome back to Myth Gamers, the show where we try to dodge every single bullet, literally and figuratively. And, and Sonic 2 is obviously the hardest uh, of, the, uh, of the classic Sonic series, so it makes sense to do a no-hit run of it. Episode 2 of Myth Gamers, can you beat Sonic 2 without getting hit? And also, um, uh, no, shields do not count. I, I would do this legitimately, but I... I'm too scared because I'm um, of M Metropolis Zone. I'm way too scared of Metropolis Zone, so let's get right into it. This challenge is being done on the mobile report of Sonic 2 on uh, Android and Apple devices, but only features in the original version will be used here, so yeah. When it comes to character choice, Sonic and Tails aren't rough enough to handle this run. We're gonna need the master of mobility, Knuckles. Knuckles is capable of two versatile moves, gliding and climbing. Gliding will help us because basically you're invincible during your gliding section. This, and there's a very low chance of things that will hurt you and when you're in your gliding state. And for climbing, it, it, it can skip a lot of things. So yeah, you, uh, this will really help with us. And yeah, some of you might be like, wait, but Knuckles isn't uh, playable in the original versions. I thought you said Knuckles, uh, uh, that only features in the original version w will be uh, uh, used. Well, actually, he is. Let me tell you guys how to get Knuckles in the original Sonic 2. So you get the Sonic 2 cartridge. Then you get the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. And with the power of lock-on technology, which will look like this after you connect them, you will get Snuckles and Sonic 2. No more blibber babber. Let's get right into it. The only huge roadblock in Emerald Hill Zone are these monkey badniks. They are up high, so they're hard to hit. So easily just. I would either spin dash or glide under them. They're they're pretty easy to avoid if you do that. And once you get to the boss, use the try and true strategy of just jumping on him like a regular person. Just don't spin dash into him. It, it, it's very hard to aim a spin dash on him that won't have you know, land you uh, getting uh, um, your rings lost. So yeah, just uh, don't hit spin dash at him. And. That's it for Emerald Hill. After we hit the capsule, it's time to swishy splash swiftly straight stopping at Chemical Plant Zone. All you have to do for, uh, for Chemical Plant Zone is not take the high route. There's a bee badnik blocking it, very hard to avoid him. Do not try to, uh, try to do it. In terms of the boss, if you use the try and true strategy of just gliding at him, the boss becomes very easy. Just trust me, it's, it, it's very easy to uh, avoid his attacks. Rune Zone Act 2 is where the run really takes its true colors. Act 1 is annoying, but Act 2 is diabolical. We start off with this uh, uh, these huge arrow, arrow shooters, but immediately after, uh, tons of mosquitoes will start uh, crowding around you. What you need to do is wait on this platform and keep jumping until all those mosquitoes are dead. Best way you can uh, figure out if they're dead is wait three seconds after the last mos mosquito. It, it works about every time. After that, and the, it's uh, all basically just the boss is what you got. Um, what what the strategy is is to um, get on top of the uh, totem poles and uh, just keep uh, gliding at Eggman. Uh, I didn't do this the first time. I didn't get a actually recorded run of a no hit run for this one. So yeah. The only uh, thing that's challenging about the uh, uh, Casino Night Zone is um, the boss, and um, I just don't. Uh, the boss is easy if you guys if you uh, jump into the, if you uh, glide into the wall, you can uh, go into your climbing climbing state, and then you, if you just glide off the wall and just keep hitting them, and he'll eventually be down. It's it's definitely a waiting game, but uh, he'll eventually get be down if you can just keep at it. For Hilltop Zone, I really can't pinpoint any kind of uh, specific details on uh, 
the stuff, just avoid these enemies at the front. They really can ruin a run, so yeah. But, um, also, uh, um, there is two li uh, extra lives that you should grab. Um, so, let's get right to that, see where the two extra lives are. So, actually, they're both in a hilltop zone, Act 2. Just don't forget to get them. To get the first one, take the high route, and... Um... What you'll need to do is glide to this wall right over here, then glide back to the uh, the opposite wall, climb down, glide into here, destroy the life up monitor, and then climb back up. The second one is very easy to get too, but before you go into the boss, just remember to go get it. Um, go back into the low route and uh, just glide here, and then climb down and just like, hit the life up monitor, and then just glide back. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, my kids. Let's get on to the boss. There's two strategies to this boss. You can either glide into the, him regularly or abuse his mechanics and just like keep jumping on him. Just, yeah, that's what people do in speedruns nowadays. And yeah, just if you don't get hit, then just keep doing it and yeah, you'll eventually defeat the boss. Next, let's move on to the Mystic Cave Zone. And the only issue, these lightning bugs and caterpillars. They're, but they're pretty easy to avoid if, if you know they're there. And also, do not hit the lightning bugs when they're lighting up because that will kill you. That will uh, make you lose rings and make you take a hit. So do not do, do that. When you get to the boss, uh, make sure you have a shield because this is a bad uh, one. Stay in the center and- WHAT?! I THOUGHT IT WAS CONSISTENT! Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, there's no, uh, strategy for this, uh, boss. And while staying in the center will help, um, it, it, it's not very consistent, so it doesn't really matter, so let's move on to Oil Ocean Zone. The huge problem here is the seahorses and octopus magnets. Badniks, sorry. To avoid these uh, uh, octopi is you uh, wait until they go up and then you after they go down you hit them so with these seahorses all you have to do is kind of just uh, run as fast as you can or um, jump at them they they are uh, you kind of just have to know that they're there um, that's honestly the best strategy that I have um, so, so they will tick you off, but uh, that's that's they don't have a really good strategy. So yeah, she's the boss with the invincibility monitor in the ceiling. Use the tried and true strategy of jumping on him like a normal person. H how is this not hard? Next up is Metropolis Zone, and do a favor for me. Um, get every time you get hit in this uh, level, um, take a shot of an uh, adult beverage. That's 20. Of course, I am joking, but this zone is really that hard. There's, I mean, there, you have to take a very, very, very specific route. And first, you have to just do what I did as I was explaining the uh, shot part, the uh, adult, with the adult liquid. And once you get here, you just gotta climb over this wall and then and that wall and then glide over him. Then you gotta get that, uh, make sure you get that shield though, because there's some star use that will f uh, freaking... And destroy a run, so then just like try to avoid those uh, star use, and you'll be good to go. And then take the uh, high route, and once you uh, go up those bouncers, and then uh, you'll see there is a in the air is a slicer there. So then just like stall out his uh, thing, and there's really no strategy to get past these guys. You just really have to uh, there's you just have to really have luck um, with these guys. So yeah, once you get here. Um, you what you'll want to do is uh, go, take the high uh, high route and uh, by spin and going up here with the uh, uh, red spring t and, uh, take uh, the right uh, path and then it's uh, uh, go up again and just keep going until you get to the end it's it is hard but you'll eventually get past act one so now let's get to act two finally the home stretch
wait for the uh, crab guy to uh, walk over here and then uh, climb down and you'll eventually get past him and it's just a very uh, uh, quick route up and make sure you take the top path and um, get good in RNG with uh, the um, greatness of their um, uh, of the slicers since they are really bad bad nicks I hate them and then go up here um, use a spin dash to go up there probably and then get this 10 rings it's always good to have rings um, once you uh, and then once you get up here you, you need to use this teleporter and then just take this route and then wait for the exact right moment to glide through or you can just t choose it and not even go through it and, and with a glide um, and then also with uh, this one, you need to avoid that star you up there. Um, there's also this um, place with uh, down here. Do not go down here, uh, of course, because uh, there is that small part uh, that has the uh, spikes, and you do not want to get hit by spikes in this zone because then that 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 counts as a hit. So yeah, but after you get up here, you uh, then run over here, hit the checkpoint. Uh, and hit this teleporter, go uh, go up here, and go down the elevator, uh, and then I think you'll uh, probably go down this elevator. Um, elevators, I love elevators, they're just the best thing ever. But um, then you uh, keep going down cause, and try to avoid this slicer. The best thing to do uh, when, when the slicer comes on the screen is... Uh, is glide over to the left edge. Get this invincibility monitor. Plus, and uh, trust me, it will help you a lot. And then gl uh, and drop down and, and and run over. Hit the spring. Come, come on. Hit the spring. Get up there and, and climb over. Get up here with these yellow bouncers. Um, or uh, uh, get on and get through these. Uh, uh, not product things you're at act three and then you're at three so that's basically it um act three is basically the last thing on this cha uh, challenge that kind of seems uh, um uh, uh, hard so now let's get right into it and save the best for last because we really did after avoiding enemies take the high route and, and walk over here and go up here, spin dash through this crusher thing, and also don't spin dash too much because then you'll get hit by spikes. And after you get here, take this shield and make a mad dash through these enemies and hope that you don't get hit. After that, and get and make a mad dash through these star use and, and hit the button, and then go down here. Just yeah, it, and you can climb down and jump down. I think like, jumping down is probably easier, but then just cl uh, glide up over here, go up, uh, and go over, go on this platform, and then you're home free after this, but uh, except for one thing. After you avoid this crab thing, and once you get here, and, and there are two slicers. The strategy is to spin dash, glide, and pray to the almighty gods that this uh, man just is uh, sharp boomerang sorry uh, uh, get doesn't go too high then climb up avoid these star use i will call them star use because the memes <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry and then once you get here um and glide back over to this side once you get here also and uh, glide back over to this side for this guy and then also and once you get here, climb up, and yeah, and then also there is, and once you get here, there's a 50/50 chance that once you're climbing up here, um, well, you'll eventually get to it. But once you're climbing, uh, climbing up here, not not here, but y you get what I mean. Uh, when when you're climbing up near the uh, platform, what you want to do is uh, 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 there will be a slicer up there, as you're seeing, right? Come on, come on, I'm lazy so I don't want to cut this out, there, and, and, and there's a 50 chance, a 50-50 chance that he will, ha uh, that will have a slicer, and once you get to the boss, guys, I'm really sorry, there is no uh, uh, strategy for this uh, boss, and yeah, you just have to kind of 
wait it out. Just try to avoid his attacks. Maybe glide over him when he's coming towards you. It's just very random. So now let's get on to Sky Chase. Basically, the whole strategy here is you just uh, hold down spin dash and then just, yeah, then you don't uh, 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 need to. Oh my god, you can fall off this plane? Yeah, so the best strategy here is just to have good RNG, especially with these turtles. Um, they will shoot fiery bullets at you, so you just have to, like, glide at them and, like, also, like, hit them and all that stuff. It's just very. It's very hard, but you will eventually get through it. And also, with these, um. Uh, with these, uh, kind of weird enemy uh, enemies that uh, fly on screen these ones that can look, kind of look like they have uh, fangs um they're really you just really have to avoid them you can hit them if you want but uh, it's you really just have to avoid them especially the ones that send because then uh, the, but the ones that descend you can kill them but the ones that ascend please do not kill them try not to kill them because they will kill you first place to ring fortress zone while also getting this extra life, and if you're wondering why extra lives help us, um, you will be wasting a lot of lives during this challenge, so just like, get this extra life and it will, it will help you, so yeah. And once you get to the boss, I, I, I am really sorry, there is no strategy once again. The I, I'm so sorry, I wish I had a strategy for this one, I just don't. But when you get to Death Egg Zone, this run is actually this zone is actually meant to be completed without getting hit, since there is no rings, as we'll see in the upper left-hand corner. So, yeah, is it possible to beat Sonic 2 with the, uh, without getting hit? Obviously, yes. I knew this was going to be possible from the start, but I just wanted to do a no-hit run. It was kind of like the uh, Mega Man 1 and 2 runs for VG Mitts. It's basically just see it going through the run and, uh, and telling you the strategies. Um, honestly, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Um, but yeah, it was very, uh, except for the Metropolis Zone, but it was very fun challenge. And yeah, that's basically it for today's video. So with that, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, don't sleep with turtles.